The, the audience has submitted some questions, but I, I have a question that I want to ask you that has been on my mind for quite some time. I've actually written about this notion, and that's the notion of liberty and what liberty means. And the fact that we have all these rights, we have the right to vote, we have the right to belong, we have those things that we see as part of liberty. What do you think we should be doing to protect what, what, what should we do and be doing more of to make sure that those liberties that we have, that we've been granted the right to have because of the actions of your parents, the actions of my parents, the actions of so many people in this room, their parents, what should we do, what can we do as a community to make sure that those liberties remain for so many? That's a really uh, important question and a true question. I remember when I was in college, people tried to convince me that like voting mattered and voting was like a, a, an important thing. And they would always tell me like, you know, you should vote because you know people died for your right to vote. Um, and that's very true. Uh, and that's a good reason, right? Um, and there are a lot of, I think all the best reasons that you have to vote exist in the future, right? Uh, and not in the past, right? And I think sometimes we like look in the past and go, oh, we should do this because, you know, people sat down and marched and kneeled and prayed. And that's so important. And I don't mean that, I, I hope I don't sound like I'm, I'm minimizing that. Uh, but, it, but, but it sometimes takes from our ability to have the conversation that, like, you should vote and you should count in the census because the dollars that get appointed to this community are going to happen as, as are, are, are going to be appropriated uh, regarding who voted and who doesn't, who, have, who has political power and who doesn't, right? You should vote because if there's anything in our, I always do this exercise when I'm talking to like young people, like kids or something like that, and I'll ask somebody to come up and be a volunteer. I'll be like, come in my store and buy something, right? And they come in my store and they want to buy some candy, of course, it's 99 cents, but they got to pay a dollar six because they have to pay the taxes, right? Because uh, some, somebody's got to pay the rent at City Hall. Um, and, you know, we have this conversation. They want to buy, you know, Snickers. And I take their money and give them a Mars bar. I take their money and give them a, a Sprite or something. And they go, well, wait a minute. Like, that's not what I want. And I said, well, get out of my store. That's all I have, right? I'm out of Snickers. Or I'm out of whatever I want. You know, and they go, no, no, no. Give me my, I'm like, you can't tell me what to do, right? Like, this is my store. You came in my store. I've given you what I have. And, you know, get out. And they get mad. Like, I promise you, I've had kids ready to fight me over this imaginary, like, dollar and six cents in this imaginary Snickers bar. And they're like, it's my money. If I give, they're like, they give me my money back. I'm like, how do I even give you back imaginary money? Um, but, like, <laughs> it took you a second, right? <laughs> but they get mad. And they're like, if, if it's my money, like, I should get a say in, like, in, in, in what it goes toward. I'm like, well, that confuses me because we spend 600 million of your dollars in City Hall every single year, and I've never seen you show up. Like with, like with real money on the line, um, I've never seen you once show up with regarding your like real money right, and the real things. And by the way, these are young people who have thoughts about our parks and our rec centers and our libraries and snow plowing and potholes and you know all the type of stuff that we do in our city. Uh, and you know, we have we we feel really strongly about all this stuff. And it's ours to fix. It's not the mayors of the city council. It's like ours to fix, right? And so all that to say is when you start talking about liberty, th there's a difference between uh, an unlocked door uh, and sort of an open door with a welcome mat and a handout, you know? And I hear people talking about like unlocking the doors, right? And, and a lot, you know, creating opportunity and allowing that. Uh, meanwhile, and this is one of the things behind the, you talked about our, our housing subsidy. We just last week launched a three hundred dollar a month housing subsidy for low income families in our city uh, with children in our public schools. Um, and the reason that's important is because, for example, our schools we have great schools, we have fantastic schools in Saint Paul. And people want to talk about education. And the thing is true. Like I'm not the person to have a conversation about like which social studies curriculum or which textbook or ed educational pedagogy. Like that's you. I, mean, I, I don't know a lot of that stuff. It's not my expertise. I do know that I don't learn well when I'm hungry, right? I do know that if I don't know where I'm gonna sleep tonight, like it would probably be difficult for a crown to, to brief me on whatever's going on in City Hall, right? I do know that we have children in our public schools who switch schools a half a dozen times in a school year because their family's housing insecure and that's how much they're moving. I do know that I would challenge anybody here to keep a 4.0 GPA while moving five times in one year. Uh, that I, I wouldn't be able to do that. And so just having the, the liberties exist 
and having the opportunity to take advantage of those liberties are two completely different things that I think require us all to speak up, us all to participate in the governing processes uh, that impact our lives, and that require us to think differently about kind of what our charge is in the world, and, and, and whether it's enough to just say like, hey, you know, that opportunity was there, the liberty was there, you could have done that, when in actuality there exists oftentimes a mountain of barriers between our children and families who need access to that the most, and the actual liberty that we're talking about.